Just got back from putting on some hard miles over the weekend. Actually rode about 350 miles out to Unalakleet on the Bering Sea and back in just under 48 hours. 250 of those miles we were actually riding Iditarod Trail, uh, helping put it in. And then about 50 of those miles we were making the first trail of the year down the Yukon River. So uh, we did actually do some damage. I'll show you around and see what all we broke. Uh, we got some things to fix here. So uh, going from Caltag over the Caltag Portage, Caltag Mountains, uh, fell off the trail going pretty quick and messed up my hood pretty good. All cosmetic, not worried about uh, the engine or anything at all. Everything's good. But I'm just going to zip tie that up. Not even going to repair this. It has given me the uh, initiative though to get a a good bumper for this uh, always said I didn't need it because I wasn't running a winch but I'm gonna get one now so I have one of those ordered along with that I have gotten a skid plate ordered for underneath here we did not break anything up front suspension wise thankfully but uh, our skid plate is gonna be a good investment especially because on this machine that skid plate will come back uh, underneath here uh, protect my chain case and then my brake on the other side the one thing that actually uh, is affecting the drive and ride of the machine we'll see if you can guess it throw some weight down on here Let's see what's wrong but I actually broke a torsion spring down under here on my suspension so have these springs that come up I can adjust my ride height on this cam this is what one should kind of look like uh, I did bend this one a little bit but if you look over here yeah that's not not not, not what it should look like ended up messing the suspension up breaking in that the Yukon River Trail between Galena and Nelato. It was pretty nasty out there. Had a lot of weight on the back with my box and gear and then me riding it and just enough bumps and bumps and bumps and bumps and those springs finally went out. So it should have that rod coming down in here on this side and then running up. So here is what's left of my spring. It's just kind of flopping around in there. And then my cam here is flopping around as well. So I've elected to replace both of them. Hope those Iditarod mushers appreciate it. Me breaking my machine for them.